Hi, this is Kathy Hopkins with Red Carpet Report, and we're here at the Paley Center for a farewell to FX's series, The League. Hello, how are you? Hi, doing well. How are you doing today? Great. Awesome. So, uh, I have to say, one of the favorite characters, definitely Taco. I don't play Did you come up with the songs yourself, or...? Uh, the songs were a bit of a, a back and forth between me and the creators uh, of the show, Jeff and Jackie Schaefer. Um, the only song that I wrote on my own was the birthday song. Um, I had just written that two weeks before we were going to shoot the pilot, and they were like, it's a birthday party, and we're thinking maybe you should sing a song. I was like, I just wrote this thing. Um, and, and so they generously allowed me to, to, to put that in the show. Um, but otherwise, like, they would... You know, one of my favorite songs is a, a song called Fear Boner. Um, and uh, they just basically, they say, hey, it's about a fear boner. Maybe it's like a nice little acoustic -y sort of Simon and Garfunkel thing. And so I record it, and, and we go back and forth with lyrics, and then we just shoot it. You, know? you might hear someone bust out in a bar, you know, it's great. Yeah, I mean, one of the songs was full-on improv, which was right after Fear Boner. Nick Kroll just uh, screamed out, um, play Pete's little tiny erect egg or something like that. And then I started playing some chords and Steve started singing and we were like, oh, that's funny, we can do that. And then like in between takes, everyone would be like, oh no, say that, and it rhymes with this. And like we all wrote the song together. And by the end of the episode, you have this brand new song that just kind of like happened out of the improv. You know? I believe that the Pete's tiny little erect egg kind of rolls off the tongue in a way. Is that all right? I don't know. It does. It either does or it really doesn't. Yeah. Piece of tiny erect. It sounds yeah. It's pretty great. It's iambic pentameter. That's yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now um, you seem to be also very interested in uh, putting fun music videos and such out there. Is music a big part of your life and your act as well? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually putting out a, a musical project in in January. Um, so I'm just constantly regardless whether it's comedy or not, just playing music all the time, um, which was really fun with this show, like to be able to like both loves comedy and music, you know, have them together on a show and, and have the freedom, the creative freedom to actually use that and, and pitch ideas and to work out ideas with, with the creators. Like it really uh, is a special creative uh, seven years, you know, that I don't think I'll be able to, like, find necessarily in this way anywhere else, so I'm retiring. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. Kidding, but, yeah. Maybe it'll come into windfall. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Uncle Corp comes around. Yeah. Is there any uh, inspiration for this character, anyone you knew in real life, maybe like that? Um... <laughs> That you are willing to say out loud, I guess. Yeah, I mean, not really. I think I'd often, like, without knowing it, channel things. And, like, I'd say something, and I'd be like, that sounds familiar, or, like, that intention. And it often went, came back to Dumb and Dumber, the movie. Big influence on me. Um, and I was like, oh, right, that's, like, a Dumb and Dumber move. Or a Simpsons. Early Simpsons kind of happened a lot. I channeled that. Often without really, really knowing it, but I think you know, Dumb and Dumber is a pretty good one. Yeah. Is there anything you're um, you're going to really miss specifically about this show now that it's wrapping? Besides, maybe I don't know if we're gonna learn Taco's real name or not. So that suspense. Well, you may find that out in the last episode. I don't know. That may happen. It may not happen. Who knows? Uh, but uh, am I going to miss... Whoa, 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 whoa! That is going to be the best part of this interview. <laughs> yeah. Um, am I going to miss anything? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to miss everyone. Um, uh, like laughing a thousand times a day. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, going to miss it all. It's such a great group of people. We never fought once the entire time. Which Except for is a fun. Miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we beat the shit out of each other, like Fight Club style, at the end of every week. Um, like, really bad. Like, hospital 
shit. But um, insurance was good, though I'm sure, right? No, exactly. It was all for for fun, intentional at least. Yeah, yeah. As long as you apply pressure to the wound, you're fine. Yeah, exactly. It stops the bleeding. You're good. You're good. Most of us survive. It's mostly this emotional bleeding at that point. Really. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm glad uh, to see this has gone so well. A seventh season, my yeah, so... That's uh, insane. That's yeah, insane. congratulations yeah. on the awesomeness. I hope to see a lot more in the future. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice meeting you. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more interviews. And in the comments below, let us know who your favorite character of the League was.